Yeah, good afternoon YouTube. It looks like time for another post bag or UPS box as the case may be. This one came from uh, MCM Electronics. So we got some parts in here. This is the main thing I ordered. That is a Raspberry Pi 2 which is the Model B, one gigabyte, and it has a quad core, 900 megahertz, Broadcom CPU. And these are supposed to be essentially the new version of the Raspberry Pi. My luck would have it. I no sooner ordered a Model B Plus than I found out about two weeks later that there was this new model out. So I got, actually, two of them. Got a second one there. And, yeah, because then I picked up another uh, wireless adapter. And then this box here, or envelope here, this came a little bit ago from Flirk. There's another one of the Flirk Raspberry Pi case. Same case as I got before. I kind of like this uh, case. Let's see. This is supposed to be the same form factor here. So, yeah, it looks like that fits. Let's see if the yeah, screw holes line up there and the USB ports. There's your video. So why I bought this, or two of them, because I stole the one Raspberry Pi, the first one I bought, and that's now out in my garage, hooked up to my old analog TV. So I needed something to put back on my Sony TV. And then I also bought another one because I've got an old TV in my office. It's a digital TV, but it uh, doesn't have a smart remote. So I'm, I'm still waiting on the another Flirk infrared receiver to hook up with this one. So yeah, that looks like I've got one. I'm, I have enough parts to build. I'll, I think I'll build this one up and hook it back up to my Sony TV. So I'll show you how uh, how this one works. I've got the you have to load a new. Open a LAC or RAS BMC image that's built for the quad-core processor. You can't you can't use the same SD card, and then you also have to get a new set of MPEG licenses. So I've got to get that uh, going. So I'll show you how this Raspberry Two Raspberry Pi Two boots up once I get to that point. 